Welcome to GeoVision video tutorial. My name is Pearl. I'm going to introduce Control Center software and the video wall function. Our goal is to provide you with the functions and the features of a Control Center in this video. You will get more ideas through case study and FAQ. In addition, there is a live demo session. You will see the software interface and the demo result in a separate video. Control Center and Video Wall are two different programs set up in computer. We will provide you more details back and a function list in the following video. So what is Control Center? It is a central monitoring software for live video, playback events, EMAP, video motion pop-up, and the PTZ remote control. It supports following GeoVision products, GV Multicam, DVR NVR, VNS, Recording Server, As Manager, IO Device, and SMVR. You have to make connection from Country Center. It means all of the information such as IP, ID, and password have to enter in host list from the Country Center side. To get best result, let's check a PC requirement. For CPU, we will suggest i7 2600K, 3.4 GHz, 8 GB RAM with dual channel. The OS support 64 bit. And right now, if possible, please try to get the Giga RAM card with two port. The most important would be the graphic card. Please find the graphic card support multiple monitors display, so you can assign each monitor to display different function and layout. To run in Control Center, you have to insert USB dongle. There are different types of combinations. You can set up a Control Center with vital sign monitor or video wall, or the combination these three software in one computer. From this session, we are going to introduce Control Center features. This is the default Control Center user interface. If there is only one monitor attached, you can combine the host list from the left side, the group list, and the application position to define each application the position, and the right side will be the live view for the older video combination. If you right click the camera name in the camera list or right click image in the live video, you will get an advanced control option such as fisheye develop, panorama view, video analysis functions such as PIP and PAP, defog and stabilizer. If you need monitoring for a lot of cameras, control center matrix will be useful. Matrix is live video window combination camera display from different hosts. Each matrix view supports maximum 96 channels and you can choose different layout to display this camera. For current control center spec, you are allowed to start eight different matrix view in control center. Since each matrix view supports 96 channels, for 8 monitors, it will be 96 by 8, so total will be 768 channels. This will be the total channels available in matrix view for one control center. If you have multiple monitors attached to control center, you can define each monitor's content by application position function. For the matrix view, you can simply drag and drop the matrix to specific monitor. So each monitor can define by different matrix view. QView is one of feature for matrix. Click any channel in matrix view, you will get a second monitor to display with a full screen image. 
and of course you have to pre-assign this monitor in the QView option. There are more functions in Matrix View. For Live View, you can use GV Keyboard and GV Joystick to control PTZ. Post Live View, you will get post transition overlay on the screen. For recording, you can stop and start monitoring in Matrix UI. If you want to playback events, you can also get these features through icons of remote view lock and instant playback function. Since Matrix View is a combination of all cameras from different hosts, you can set up privilege for each Matrix folder. Operator account can only view specific Matrix View. Matrix View is monitoring for all live video. If there are some critical events, you may not find it easily. One of Control Center function is video motion detection. We usually show it as BMD. You can define camera in this folder, which is high priority in monitoring. This high priority camera will pop out live view in BMD window, such as motion, IO trigger, missing object, unattending object. You will see this camera pop up in BMD. There are settings about the VMD windows. You can have two VMD window display on two different monitors with maximum 36 channel per VMD window. You can get predefined pop-up position. After even closed, you still have chance to have option to get that keyframe on the screen. In this session, we are going to introduce video wall function. So what is video wall? You can take it as multiple TV screen display, but we take this result from computer. If you have multiple graphic cards in the PC, you can attach multiple monitors for this display. Video will require license to running with control center. This dongle has to attach to control center PC. This is structure of video wall. In the control center, you can define layout for remote computer. The remote PC have to install video wall software. You will get camera image and layout pre-assigned in control center. Control center support maximum 200 video wall. It means there are 200 PC display the camera image remotely. The maximum channel support for each video wall are 288 channels. Cross monitor display is a feature for video wall. Depends on your monitor, you can drag any size image to display for a full monitor, 6 monitors, or 9 monitors display. You can also get the zoom window and scan window in video wall. For zoom window, it will keep display zooming window for the live view. For the scan window, it keep display a group of predefined channels by different divisions. You can set up maximum 16 zoom window and maximum 16 scan windows. There are more features about the video wall. If you want to play back your own video, you can use media window. If you, you want to display a web page, you can enter the web address in the video wall configuration. It will display the web page in web window. For GeoVision video playback, you can get this feature by remote view log window. There is one more function, remote desktop server. It will display remote computer's screen in video wall. This is for live video monitoring only. You are not allowed to change any setting. After we introduce video wall content, now we are going to introduce a layout. Since Control Center defined layout and content by each remote computer. After video wall service connected, you will know each remote computer's monitor combination, so you can decide the correct layout for each different computer. 
This is the example about four monitors display. We will use these four monitors to display a fisheye camera. Cross monitor display, you will see the details of the camera image. This is the second example about six monitors layout. There are two monitors for IP camera live view. For these two monitors for IP camera live view, then we have a combination about scan window, web window, zooming window, and media window. So media window will go into playback a video which is predefined in control center. After we check video function, we are going to introduce remote email function. From version 3.3, you can now see as managers, vehicle lighting, and the doors mapping camera view in the e-map. This is the example about the remote e-map. If you have construction map as background picture, you can press camera icon and input output icon in the corresponding position. It will easy to get the position information after the event trigger. After you place the icon in the map, when camera motion or IO trigger, you will see the icon is blinking like this way. Move your mouse to the icon, you will see the live video. After you click the event, the event function here, you will see the event list. Let's check the next slide. This window is EMAP event list. Click one of the event and you will get video playback. Let's provide an example about the polygonal area in the EMAP. Please find the demo building for the main building the map over here we have a second floor and we have a third floor the map the different map of here see the alarm occurs in the second floor and this area will highlight click that and you will get the second floor the map so you can direct to get the image so in the demo the building the outside you will see the area with a highlight for the alarm. It will be easier to help user to get more attention and visually in the e-map. So that's the polygonal area in the e-map setting. There are multiple settings to get live view from remote e-map. Single live view, windows pop up and the video will live view. You will see a live demo for more details. The I.O. central panel provides a central monitoring for I.O. device from different hosts. You can group I.O. device from different hosts and you can trigger I.O. device across different hosts. So that means the DVRs input to you can trigger DB1 output. So we can cross the host for the trigger output. And also support different schedule for the IO triggering. For the daytime, the input 1 will trigger output 1 to 3. And for the nighttime, the input 2 and input 3 will trigger output 4 and 5. So that means you can apply different schedule for the IO monitoring. Control Center not only support live view, but also support event playback. After your multicam and VNS enable remote playback function, you can use remote view lock to get maximum 16 channel playback. There is no log in Control Center, but you can use event data query to get event search function. After you enable webcam function, in GB Multicam system and the VNS, you can search event with specific date, type information, and the event type such as video lost, connection lost, network shutdown, record error, or the VDA function like missing object, unattending object. 
if you need as a remote system control center supports two types of remote control remote DVR and the remote desktop remote DVR you will see the multi UI only for the remote desktop you will get full control of this computer you can minimize multi and back to Windows interface let's provide a comparison about the remote DVR and the remote desktop the OS label control only available for remote desktop. The file transfer function is for remote desktop only. Remote DVR only controls the multi software interface. Due to VNS with new UI design, this function is not supported. Backup setting for control center service is available, such as a host list, group list, EMAP setting and video wall. With a backup function, you can restore control center service in a very short time. We want to share the case study about one of our clients with bank project in Honduras. They use this project with VND function for control center monitoring because they deploy the camera for the ATM if they withdraw money and the VND will pop up the video so it will easy to check the any events in front of ATM the live demo session will separate uh, the second video so we were going to check the last slide about the FAQ okay this is a user the very frequent ask about a question can I drag and drop the analog camera into the video wall of course you can do that but since video wall is for a large a better resolution display so the analog camera not always with better resolution so you can do that but the image may look like pixelized or blurry this is the end of live demo session for latest software download and product information, you can check our website www.geovision.com.tw For any question you may have, you can email to support at geovision.com.tw Thank you.